the Kemlin Nature Reserve on Anglesey. In the spring, it's a breeding site for one of the UK's largest populations of sandwich terns. They don't arrive until April, but key to their success are the feeding grounds off the nearby coastline, a source of food vital to all the sea and bird life that call this coastline home. It covers this, uh, this shingle ridge. It's cared for by the North Wales Wildlife Trust, and they've welcomed proposals by Natural Resources Wales to give special protection to six more areas off the Welsh coast, including the sea off the Kemlin Reserve. We need to protect sort of large areas of our, our seas to make sure that some of the, the species that we regularly see and are protecting uh, locally are, are getting the protection out there as well. While they're feeding, while they're socialising, all of that is an important part of an animal's life. The new protection zones around the Welsh coast would help protect internationally important areas for harbour porpoises and bird species, including the Manx Shearwater and Puffin. The proposals come after several years of scientific research looking at a number of species and establishing where they spend their time. Well, these species are recognised as being in, as um, important on a European scale and we're lucky enough in Wales to have some really important populations. So I think it's vital that we... Um, you know, recognise our obligations to do the best of these species in these areas. On a sunny day, the view off the Anglesey coast is serene and it's difficult to imagine the challenges the creatures that depend on the sea face. I think so. I think a lot of people realise our seas are in trouble and, and the, the, the bigger, more enigmatic creatures are in trouble because everything below is struggling as well. Uh, no doubt there will be much discussion over how it's all going to work in practice. But the argument is that it's a vital step if you want to protect our seas for future generations. Ian Lang, ITV News, Anglesey.